an awful lot. So today we're gonna be making candy sushi. I've never done one of these before, but I thought it'd be fun to do. Uh, just says wash it, wash your hand hands well and prepare a glass of water. I don't know how much water we need, but I have like two cups here. I don't think we'll need the whole two cups, but we'll see. It's grape and soda flavors. Grape and soda flavors. Um, I've seen BuzzFeed do like the ramen one, so I don't know how the sushi one's gonna be. Just add water. Oh, oh cute! It's like a little, little lunch box. I feel like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need scissors. Alrighty. Carefully cut this open. Cut. And here. Ooh, it smells very fruity. So we got here our rice candy powder. Got our salmon roy packs here. And we got our omelet and tuna. Oh, the tuna is a candy powder. It's all powder. And we got our little soy sauce candy. And we got like a, a little shovel, a little eyedropper thing. And I think this is our seaweed. Yeah, this looks like this is our seaweed. Okay, so let's let's start. So first, start off by making some rice. So for step one, we are filling the this up with the rice candy. I don't know how to open this inside looks like. Don't know how well you can see that, but this makes me nervous. Oh. I I'm just scared I'm gonna put too much here. How much water do I put in, though? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I already messed it up. Okay. Crap. There's already, like, sugar in the omelet section. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I misunderstood the directions. Everybody go back in here. Everybody go back in here. And hopefully we didn't mess it up too much. Okay. Let's get this little eyedropper thing here. So we fill this up with water. Alright, so now that the water's in, now we pour this in. And then, where's our little shovel thing? Here's our shovel thing. It smells very, very sweet. Oh. Oh. It kind of is forming like rice a little bit. Very curious as to how big these little sushi things are supposed to be. Because this looks like the size of like one sushi. Like your standard sushi. I think we got our little imposter rice ready. And now we make the omelet. So we fill this entire thing up with water. All right, so add water up to the line. Up to the line. Okay, I think we're up to the line. Up to the line on the side spiral section and then add powder from the yellow packet. Mix, spread, and flatten. All right, where's our little shovel? Let's have our shovel ready. Okay, shovel's, shovel's ready. Let it do its thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna put you up on a, at a higher angle so you can hopefully see it better. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that's a little better. And hopefully I don't knock over the whole thing. Okay, so next we need to make the tuna. I didn't show the tuna at all, but dun, dun, dun. We're, making, we're making tuna. So kind of the same concept, fill to the line here. All right, add water up to the line on the side in the wavy section. Add powder from the, pa the red packet, mix it, spread and flatten. Oh no! Oh! I 
think some rice got in there. Whoops. Here we just kind of let that do its thing. And now we make the dried seaweed. Now we spread out the black candy to match the shape and size size of the packaging pouch. So this here. We're gonna flatten it out and make it this size. So we're gonna be too carefully move that over here. Okay, for some reason it, it like cut out, so that's a little concerning. But um, I don't know how much we have missed, but we have made the tuna. Now we are trying to make the seaweed. So now we try and make it look like this. Oh no, don't do that. It's just coming apart. This is not working out. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, seaweed, come on seaweed, you can do it. Good enough, I guess. Okay, I'll just put that over here. And now we are making the salmon roy. Uh, we are going to add water up to the lines on sections A and B. Add powder from the green packet to section A. Add powder from the orange packet to section B. Mix well and use droplet to slowly add mixture B to mixture A. Be sure not to mix the liquids together. very curious as to how this chemical reaction is going to work. Okay, and what I'm supposed to do now is take one of the droppers, bring it up about one inch, and just drop. I don't know if that did anything. Okay. Something's happening. I'm very fascinated by whatever this chemical reaction is. Probably doing it too chaotically, but. Okay, so after the camera fell, <laughs> we're just still making the Roy. What is Salmon Roy anyways? It smells strawberry-y. Come on, you can do it. Get in there, there you go. I feel like I put too much water in, but I'm not sure. There's like a, a hydrophobic reaction going on in here. So what's supposed to go in here? Oh, is that where? Oh, is that what's supposed to hold the water? Oh well, we didn't do that. <laughs> what we are now going to do is make some soy sauce. Ooh, it's an interesting texture. Very interesting texture. Okay, just gotta set that off to the side here. I'm gonna follow the instructions here. Scoop up the rice I missed. Okay, and now we put. Where's the soy sauce? Here's the soy sauce. Ooh, okay, okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. This is gonna be like our little dipping sauce here. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be this liquidy. What we're supposed to do next is be firm. Okay. A little firm. We are going to cut this in half and scoop. Oh, wait, we gotta, gotta make some rice. Ooh, okay. balls here. Get right here. I'm supposed to cut this in half. Ooh, 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 ooh. Flip it over. Oh, we got ourselves a little omelet egg. 
or <laughs> little omelet egg, little omelet sushi. I feel like I don't have enough rice for the amount of sushi they want me to make. Oh no! Oh. So I didn't mess it up. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's like falling over. It is falling over. Ugh. You're all falling over. Here, maybe that's why they want us to cut the bottom. Oh no! <laughs> it keeps falling over. Here, lean on that one. Lean on me. Because I still want to have enough for the the salmon roy one. I'm probably saying that incorrectly this entire time. I feel like this is like caviar, but they're calling it Roy for some reason, but I'm not sure. Okay, and then we cut this in half. Ooh, big old piece of tuna. It's a big old piece of tuna. I feel like I, feel like I don't have enough rice for any of this. Beautiful. <laughs> now we wrap this one up. It's not working out. Beautiful. <laughs> so how do I put the put the Roy on it. Do I just scoop them out? Oh, I guess I just scoop it out. I have too much Roy for this. I guess I'll put some like on here. Put some on that one. Oh no. Oh, it's falling off. Okay. I'm going to do a voiceover for this part because I feel like I didn't express my thoughts very well the first time. Uh, I thought this was going to be super sweet, like unenjoyably sweet, but it was actually a nice sweetness. It wasn't in your face like I anticipated. Although I do wonder how much human error there was, I definitely feel like I didn't make the soy sauce correctly. Overall, it does make me curious about the differences between American candy versus candy from other countries such as Japan. Do we make our candy super sweet, whereas other countries don't? Just something to think about. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see in the next video. This is Kayla, signing off.